Hey Kingdom Builders, Wes Dunn with my friend Mirka Deanos. And Mirka and I just had a great conversation and I wish that we had just recorded the whole thing, but I <laughs> wanted to ask her, we, we were just at, talking about life and things that are going on here on the planet. And you recently went on a trip uh, to Lebanon. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I had the opportunity to, to visit Lebanon, Beirut, um, to actually spend time with the Syrian refugees. Um, that are fleeing Syria because of all the situations that we know, the bombings and ISIS and all of that. And um, we know that World Vision is a world relief organization. It's also a Christian organization, and they do so much help, especially in that part of the world. So um, I was able to travel with them just because they want to get the word out on everything that World Vision is doing. And um, as I was in one of these camps and talking to um, the parents and seeing these children that have to go to work at five and six years old, wow. even in construction, they have to carry wow. things and um, just to make a living, to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. um, I asked um, the the person that came with us from World Vision, and I said, you know, I just I just don't even know what to say. I have no words. My heart is breaking. I wish mm -hmm. I could just give everything that I have. I wish I had so much money to just make another camp, you know, for these people and, and build one yeah, for them. Yeah. And he said, you know what? Someone just gave $25 million anonymously. Wow. wow. And I was like, God, I want to be able to do that. Right. You know, and so I firmly believe that God gives us everything that we have, whether mm -hmm. it be our children, our homes, our businesses, our jobs, our talents. Um, to store these treasures in heaven. Mm -hmm. And so I, you know, and, and we have this innate desire to leave something on this earth or a legacy, right? And what better legacy than to change someone's life or help someone? So I believe that our businesses, we have we have a duty to mm -hmm. to give of first of all, to give all our business back to God, because it really belongs to Him, and allow Him to flourish it so that then we can go and fund and uh, help people, just mm -hmm. all types of people. It doesn't have to be in a grandiose manner. I mean, if you make, you know, I don't know, $200 from that, you can give. Right. You know, that's so right. I think that that's very important. Now, like, you have different lines of business because you do journalism, mm -hmm. you have a skincare company that you recently launched, um, you have uh, various nonprofit work. So, how do you see God working in these different lines of business as a, you know, as a journalist mm -hmm. and now as a businesswoman? How do you see God working in these different ways where you know what to give to, maybe where to sow, mm -hmm. uh, where, or where to spend some extra time? Well, what I believe is that if we are made aware of a need, it's because we need to be the first one out there to try That's to good. fill that need. That's really so good. So the moment that I my eyes see something, it means that God wants me to help in that area. So I always try to say yes. And wow. I know that sometimes that's controversial because you can see someone that's on the street begging for money. But I believe if my eyes fell upon you, it's because it's not my... It's not my place to judge what they're doing. It's between them and God, but I'm just going to help. I'm just going right. to give from whatever right. I have, you know? And sometimes it's not, okay, I have to pay my bills first, even though, yes, uh, we need to be responsible, but um, God takes care of us. So right. as I am about God's business, you know, He is about my business, and He will flourish my business to the measure that I give. I really do That's believe awesome. that the more I help, the more he's gonna help me. That's so awesome, Mirka. And I'm sure if you're watching this, you're, you know, you're hearing her passion to make a difference, and I'm, I, I hear that passion, and I want to make a difference too. I want to see a need and say, God, you've opened up my yeah. eyes to see that need for a reason. Yeah. And sometimes even asking, okay, how do I help or what do I mm -hmm. do? You know, uh, sometimes the easiest thing is giving a buck or you know writing a check towards something, but it's sometimes it's more than that. And um, I just love your passion and your heart to make a difference in the world and to see, you know, a refugee crisis, to get on a plane, to go there and say, okay, God, I want to be a part of the answer to this. And so... I think so many people really do want to make a difference. I think that the heart is there of humanity to want to do something great, to know that they... Yeah 
deposited something in this world to change the world. We mm -hmm. want these big things. We want to be Superman and Superwoman. Yeah. But it is only with God's help. It is That's only right. with God's power. It is only by giving it all back to Him That's that right. we're able to do that. Come on in. And she's a preacher now, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mirika, thank you so much for, welcome, for just Wes. encouraging Thanks. all of our kingdom builders today. And so, if you're watching, I hope that you are encouraged just as much as I am to go in and make a difference in the world. God bless.